Hello friends, welcome back. So I have decided to make a map for me and my friends and uh, I think it's going to be really good for you to learn a lot and uh, we are actually going to make a map uh, to play over the land and it's gonna be a deathmatch, team deathmatch and uh, and some others. Alright, so let's get started. I'm going to general information first and I'm going to give it a name and I want to name it uh, anything designer is major and uh, mission theory and let's give uh, maybe uh, let's check ms10 hit ok mm. I don't think so. No, we're not going to see it. I have this. I'm going back. Let's change it. No, I want to change this. I want to change this. And uh, maybe DVDG2. No. Actually, I have, uh, you know, played these maps and I sometimes okay I like this one and I'm gonna save this um, mission our map name is anything hit save okay so uh, let's go back to our general information and here we're going to put some tiles and uh, it's gonna be Delta Force deathmatch team deathmatch king of the hill team king of the hill and a flag ball hit okay and uh, let's just save it on the go uh, where is it anything okay Save yes. Let's go to click on D so we can see where we can place the buildings and anything we want to place. So um, I'm gonna make two bases here. Uh, the first base is going to be somewhere here, and the second we're going to make here in the black area because this is zero elevation or the straight. Uh, flat ground this black area is actually the flat ground so I want to make buildings or whatever I want on the black area so um, let's get started insert mood click and uh, we're going to place some buildings here and what do we want to place boys I uh, want to put some boundary wall around it so let's go to the decorations and uh, select our boundary wall okay here is our boundary wall okay and uh, let's select our boundary wall uncheck the insert mode okay so we can work on the object we have created hit M to move the object it is snapping a lot so decrease uh, the amount of snap all right so zoom in okay and rotate that okay let's put this here here copy that paste that rotate this again and uh, we're gonna put this here copy and paste put this here and uh, copy paste put this here rotate that 180 and uh, put this here okay and using the n uh, what do we call this the right side right portion of the keyboard uh, with the num lock num lock buttons whatever we call it you you can navigate with these buttons actually copy and paste so let's continue mm, I'm gonna put it here let's copy this and paste this here I don't want it to go over the gray area because there is some elevation you can go there actually it it won't uh, actually make much trouble but I just don't like making any kind of trouble okay so let's rotate that again oh we need to rotate this this and I'm gonna put this here okay and uh, we have covered this area a lot let's copy this 
here, copy again here, and then we want to put something like this, and rotate that, put this here, alright, and then copy this again, and rotate that again, I think this tutorial is going to be a little bit lengthy, uh, you can stop the video actually here and start making the video again but you know I'll have to do editing if I stop the video here and then uh, do everything cover the area with the wall and then start the video again I'll have to merge the videos together and I really am you know not wanting to do this Okay, so uh, uh, let, let's change the style now. I'm going to put some other kind of wall here. Let's just uh, use some other wall. Uh, move down, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Um, uh, 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 I want actually some kind of big wall, maybe. Uh, there is actually a wall which is a little bit big and we could use that is it in now it's here under decorations I'm unable to find this where is it Need to find that wall I think uh, I've lost the f wall. Uh, we wasted time. I'm not gonna waste much time yet here finding the wall. So let's just uh, put this here. All right. Uh, we are actually um, making a boundary wall around the area. So to make it a little more interesting. Okay, and uh, we can actually copy multiple walls here and uh, group rotate somewhere here maybe. My eyesight is weak, I think. Need to zoom in to see. Okay, no problem, that's fine. Okay, let's copy this and paste this here. Mm, that's okay. Come back here, zoom, and I'm going to rotate that. Okay, and rotate this here. Okay, and now we need to close this here at that point. Okay, <coughs> fine. let's come back down all right and here we are going to change a little bit of thing baby here I'm having a party uh, should I should I play songs is that okay I mean if you don't mind if I play the songs would you mind would you mind if I play the songs? Really? Okay. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna play the songs. So, uh, but not yet. Maybe later when I'll be sure that you really want to hear the song. <laughs> okay, let's copy this again and paste that here. 
guys if you don't like the tutorial please do not abuse uh, I mean I'm doing my best to teach as much as I can okay let's just zoom here I want to make a door or something I want to make a access to outer world here so to make access for the outside world we are going to do something 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 I wonder where is that wall oh, 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 oh. here is the wall I was looking searching the wall in decorations but this is in buildings okay so um, we are going to make the wall for this wall I've, I've been looking for this wall so we need to draw this section mm. Oops. it's big you know we can do something here we can remove this and this and this and this we can drag this here and uh, I want to rotate that and somewhere maybe here okay and let's just place this here and uh, make a copy of this here okay and uh, let's make uh, this wall this section actually has stairs so it is going to be really good for you to climb up on the wall and attack your enemies without any trouble so we can attach this here and then copy this again and like this make it uh, here uh, we need to uh, make a door here so let's get the door from the decorations mm -hmm. don't worry the door is in the decorations um, it's somewhere 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 Uh, 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 okay, um, this is destroyable door, so we can attach this door here. And uh, let's, uh, uh, we have this door here, but I'm gonna find the other door too, so we will not have to go through this process again. Um, okay, this get with uh, um, stone wall, broken version of gate, and okay, that's good. All right, let's zoom in, move the gate here, and let's rotate it. If you want to enter in the area, you will have to break this gate first, and then you will have to go through the other gate, which we are going to add right next to it. All right, so just add this gate here and uh, then we are going to move this wall a little bit with the gate and this is our next gate and we need to add this gate somewhere um, mm, mm. let's do this like this okay we need to add this gate here I'm gonna add this here let's go to the insert mode again click on decorations and uh, here I know that there are some sections we can use here I'm going to use this wall and uh, I'm gonna mm, 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 maybe something like this yes okay and I'm gonna put this here all right and uh, let's get another section of uh, the same wall copy and paste this let's put this here copy and make another copy and put this here 
okay in this way we we have divided the uh, you know entrance or something whatever it is called uh, let's put this wall it is a little bit big not a little bit actually it's very big let's do something else we need to move this door here and I think we need to move this too a little bit to the back side and we need some few few sections from here oops uh, just like that let's move this here okay and uh, we can put a small section of wall and I'm going to rotate this like this and put it here now we have closed this area uh, we can also close it with another copy we can take another copy actually and just rotate this section oops oops this section a little bit like this <laughs> that was not a little bit actually okay so like this okay and now we are going to zoom in here and uh, I'm gonna take the copy of this object and put it here okay and let's take the copy uh, maybe something like this actually let's put it here uh, I need to rotate that what am I doing I just want to close the entrance from this area I want the player to go through the gate actually and I really want him to go through the gate So we've got another section here. All right. Um. Oops. Okay. And here we have our next section. I think we've got uh, okay what is it doing <sighs> okay that looks fine let's check this uh, we've got some problem okay now let's check this uh, we are going to actually we could do this in another way too but I think that's just fine if we uh, could rotate that a little bit like this and uh, put this somewhere here that was much better idea than this all shit and uh, Uh, it's not going to be s uh, so much difficult for you to learn it is easy you just you just have to think where you want to do and what okay and uh, we can add another section of wall here so nobody shoots from the vent that is right next to the ends of these points okay so uh, let's uh, add a temporary player marker I'm going to make a death match player marker here just to test our map and uh, I'm going to save the map its name is anything and uh, anything save this map and export this map here and I'm gonna name this a anything just remove the dot mis and save this okay and uh, so let's test the map I need to see what's going on in there 
we cannot tell unless we check how it is looking we need to go to the deathmatch come down and anything this is our map start hosting Here we are in our map. Okay, this is the area where we were, and uh, this is the wall we created. All right, and if we enter in here, we can see here we created a door, a destroyable door, but we cannot see the door. There's no any door here. Uh, the problem is uh, uh, we can fix this as we go back. Let's come in here and just come here. This is a door we created, and uh, this is the next door we created. And here we enter the main area, the main zone of our players. I need to fix this. We need to fix this. All right, uh, no problem. We can fix that, and everything just looks fine. This is good. This map is good. There is a huge mountain. A sniper can uh, go up there and uh, snipe. There's also another mountain there, there, and there. We've got a good, a very good map. I like it. So let's get back to our editor. And uh, here. So uh, let's fix the door problem here. We've got some problem with the door. We cannot see the door actually. So right click and get out of the insert mood. Click on the door we have and click on the wall right next to the door I mean when you click the door you will not actually be able to see where exactly it is uh, if we click on 3d wireframe mode we can see the door there but the green line shows the th this green line shows actually the level of the terrain and this door is very very lower than the uh, ground level so we need to give it some um, you know uh, height uh, altitude so let's go to the uh, right click on that uh, sorry get out of the 3d my frame mode right click on that and go to the edit item attributes all right right click and go to edit item attributes here we've got some uh, more information about the object all right so here what we want to do we want to see this section here the position of the object right now the position is uh, we want to see the Z actually it's minus 3 and uh, this is not what we want let's click on absolute height and um, hit OK and uh, click the wall next to the door and now click the 3 wireframe mode now we can see this yellow is uh, this yellow uh, drawing or, or the face faces this is the wall and we can see the uh, bottom of the wall is touching the green line it means that it is touching the ground it is right at accurate level but the door is inside the ground we want to take the door up so let's go back and deselect the wall okay. selecting the door right click go to the properties and in the properties um let's increase the value we need to give it some a value of uh, z it's right now it's 11 so let's put some value around um 18 and hit enter okay and now click select the next wall so we can see it is just for reference actually i want to see uh, it comparatively with the wall the door go here back and now the door is in the air and i don't want that deselect it go back and uh, let's put the value around 14 maybe hit enter let's go back to the wireframe mode okay a little bit outside but most most of it is still inside let's hit the maybe 16 hit enter now let's see okay that's what we want that's exactly what we want it's right in place okay now let's save it and um, it's anything okay save the map and uh, let's go to the uh, general information and uh, here one thing to notice we have a uh, you know 
mountain and I guess I can guess the mountain is somewhere at this place I know the distance of one uh, you know pixel here or the yeah we can call it pixel let's say it's a pixel so uh, we know that 32 meter is a pixel one pixel so 32 we can do multiply that and uh, check how much fog we need here okay I, w I suppose uh, this one is first segment second third fourth fifth sixth and seventh eighth nine ten and ten into thirty two we've got three twenty meters alright so let's go back to our uh, general information and enable fog distance and we want to put 320 meters here and we want to put some water level but not yet let's go uh, to the environment file we need to change the environment and I want it to be somewhere around night mood and 4 so let's check this we can change the later if anything wrong goes on so let's go ahead and save this let's save this on anything yes and export this again anything just remove the BMS Oops. Wait a minute. Let's export the binary mission file. It is any thing BMS and save anything MIS. Okay. Alright, so let's go back and check this out. And after that, I'm going to stop the video for a moment. And uh, after checking this file, I'm going to stop the video and uh, definitely check i mean re re restart the recording uh, not from the not i'm not going to start the tutorial from the beginning but i'm just going to you know start the video from the beginning sorry i don't know what i'm saying my brain is somewhere else <sighs> okay i like this uh, environment it's good Okay, let's break the door. You can break this door with grenade or whatever. All right. <coughs> okay, now we are in like this. Like this. You can see we've got some fog in the in the map and it looks pretty good. It's good. This fog is good. I like this fog. We can actually decrease a little bit value of the fog, maybe uh, 280 meters, something like that. Okay, let's uh, go back into our editor and change the fog distance. Let's hit uh, 280 maybe. Okay, that's okay. That's good. You can also change the fog color actually if you want. This is R. G and B, red, green, and blue. Just make a combination of the fog color. You will be able to make the fog. And we're going to add some wind speed. I'm gonna put a wind of 30 kilometers and direction 90, or maybe 35. Uh, okay, and uh, hit OK. Save the map and export the map. Let's stop the video and restart the recording from this point.